This is code.org. I'm working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games. And then of that unit, I'm on Lesson 5, Variables, and Part 10. Let's see what we're doing. Debug variables and random numbers. Variables can be assigned a random number to. This lets you save a single random value so that you can use it as many times as you want in your program. I size. Do this. I size is assigned a random number. Unfortunately, only one of the eyes is currently using it. Run the program to see how it works. Oh, it is? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, that's probably not. Ooh. Uh oh. Is that like a, a black eye maybe got hit? <laughs> or an eye patch? Okay. Um, run the. Yep. Change the program so that both eyes are always the random size. Hint, you'll only need to make changes to one line of code. Really? Oh, this is getting annoying. But All right, one line of code. So we want to change the eye size. Background green, it's not going to be that. Okay, so ellipse. Which one of these do we think is doing? This says eye size. Here, I'm just going to change this to test. I don't know which eye it is. If it has the random number in it though, so it's probably the one on the left, but let's test. Whoa. Well, I think it is the one on the left. Um, cause, yeah, it's gone. Oops, run. <laughs> um, alright, so let's get it back to 160. So this uses the variables for the, wait for it, parameter, right? Because we know now that anything in these parentheses is a parameter. So what parameter is this? Well, if I look at the ellipse uh, function, you can see that first is the x coordinate, then is the y coordinate, then we have the w, which is width, and then the h, which is height. So it must be here, height or width and then height, that is controlled by a variable. Variables are going to be, at least they should be, usually at the top of code. So VAR stands for variable. What did we name our variable? Well, we named it I size. Now, you can't have a space in a variable name, which is why, just to show that this is two words to make it easier to read, we they capitalized the S, okay? And notice it has to look exactly like it does up here up there. The S is capitalized down there as well. So random number. All right, this is our random number. You can always grab it from here. Here's our variable assignments drawn. Okay, and so our random number is going to be between 10 and 60. So that's kind of a wide range, but I think it's fine. So that both eyes are always the same random size. Okay, we want it the same random size. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to make them both the same random size. I believe this is going to be our second I. And let's do what we did earlier. Let's test that this is that I. Hit reset and then run. I changed it to 40. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and change it back. And now we need to put in our variable name, I size. Make sure you capitalize the S and there's no space. It has to be exactly how it looks here. I size. Okay. I size because you can never have a space let's hit reset and then run and that could have been a fluke oh no it looks like it is now working for both of those eyes i just want to show though it doesn't necessarily have to be eye size i uh large or here let's actually just do eye size okay so no cap capital letter which you do want to have a capital letter um, when you do different words, because it makes it easier to read for other programmers. But I'm just testing this out. So one eye on the, this is the left eye, it should have a different size. Let's see if the right one works. It doesn't even show up. It's a bug, because this variable now doesn't exist. Because again, it has to be exactly like we declared. So I size, capital S, I'm going to change it to get back down here. I size, capital S, reset run. And there we are. Is that? Oh, wow. Great. I think we win. We uh, finished lesson five. Awesome. Let's keep going.